Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here in Telluride. Walking around the town in the morning, going for some breakfast, preparing for our last day of skiing here. And it's quite, pretty much it's a beautiful morning out today. Super sunny and feels great out. They're really good. Alright, pretty much all geared up. Today's goal is to go ski the dihedral shoe and the black iron bowl area. So today should be sweet. It looks pretty sunny out and we're hoping to have a really good day out there. Let's start it. Prospect lift, and my goal is to ski all the way kind of up on that hill up there and then ski a dihedral shoot. But if the hike looks too extreme for me or too tough or whatever, I'm gonna drop into the bowl and just call it from there. But the hike does look manageable for me. Some people are kind of slowly climbing up it, but we'll see. We'll see what it takes. So
don't think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. Have a good run though. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Yeah, it's just wind just throwing me off too. Not a good call if you're not. Yeah. Like you play down to the wall and get back on the track. Awesome, yeah, that works. Good luck. Thank you.
All right, I bailed on trying to do the dihedral shoot, but I started to think about everything I accomplished over the last two weeks, and since it's the last day, you know, I really didn't need to do this last thing. It was, it's all right. I'll be back to do it someday because, you know what? It's just a trail, and the boot pack up there just did not look worth it, so I decided to go ski and find other stuff on the mountain that I haven't been to before, and we covered a lot more, like Happy Thoughts, Claude's Coulard, uh, Black Iron Bull I did three laps in, so that was sick. I'm going to list everything that I accomplished over the last two weeks that I had set as goals for before we came here. Skiing funnel at Crested Butte, skiing the Tower 11 shoots at Crested Butte, getting better at tree skiing, helicopter skiing in Silverton, skiing the Gold Hill shoot number eight at Telluride, which is a huge one, and just skiing Happy Thoughts and Clyde's Cooler and all that stuff too was on there as well. And the only like big one that I missed was really the dihedral shoot, but it was the last day I was tired. The boot pack was just sketchy to me. So I know something I got to work on is getting comfortable in boot packs like that. But other than that, I really accomplished so much over the last two weeks and it's really been the best two weeks of my life. So the skiing we did, everything was just incredible. So now I'm going to eat some cookies and we're really going to head home soon. So I'm not sure what our plan is for the spring, but if we do go somewhere, you guys will see soon enough. But however, this trip was really one that I don't think will be beat for a while until actually we have a really cool one planned for next year. So you guys will like that one, but that's a while off. So there's a lot of stuff to come in the meantime, and I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, what are we going to do now? We're probably going to go to dinner. Hopefully get a sunset gondola ride. We'll see. And yeah, just enjoy the rest of our time here. All right, I just jumped in the gondola. I know you can't really see me, but in the distance you can see the sunset. So right now my goal is to try to get the sunset captured, and if I can't, it's still a nice ride around, but if I do, I think it should be beautiful. packing for air travel tomorrow and the way we do it is in our ski container we'll have our ski strap like this and in between we'll have a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff like toe warmers hand warmers uh what else we got in there just anything you could think of that you could squeeze in there we have our other three suitcases um this is our ski container it rolls and stuff it's cool you can fit two pairs in there um this is kind of how we do it all my electronics here are getting packed. What I leave accessible, or most accessible to me, is on my camera gear. Uh, my GoPros I don't really use when I'm in the airport. Well, maybe when I'm heading over, but when I'm leaving, I don't really use my GoPros. It's really just a big camera, so I have that most accessible to me. And all the camera stuff too, but I don't put any electronics in the uh, luggage. I always have them in my backpack, so yeah, that's a big, uh, it's very useful if you're traveling. In case stuff gets lost, you always want to have that stuff on you. Anyways, as you can probably tell, I'm really tired and it's hard for me to keep on talking to you guys. But tomorrow I'm going to try to catch a sunrise before we leave. See if it looks cool over here and hopefully you'll be able to capture it. Hopefully I'm able to get out of bed though. Alright, so next morning, time for a flight. We're checking out of here. Great room. Fireplace was sick. I'm going to head over to Montrose now. <laughs> I was sitting at a bar in New England. I was thinking about another beer. circle we're back at the maverick that we were on the first episode of the colorado trip where we came and got snacks and made our way up to crested butte so 
it's always kind of an emotional point coming back. We love being out here so much, but we'll be back here. But we have a lot of places we want to cover before we come back here. So we're going to, I don't know what he's, oh, he's just going to the bathroom. And then we're going to get on the plane and whatever adventures go on from there, you guys will see. But whatever it is, it'll be fun. Everything was on the real 